Hey, this is Mike with Mabel's Acres. We're a small farm in Chatham County, North Carolina. And today, I'm going to build a chicken waterer, uh, nipple feed style. And I want to emulate the hen hydrator that I bought from Tractor Supply uh, last year. If I remember correctly, it was about $20, $25. And you can easily make one yourself with this food grade bucket. I got from Lowe's for like five bucks and a couple of these. These are the nipple waterers. If I, uh, I got six of them for a dollar fifty each and um, I'll go through the details on how to make it. Now each one of these nipples goes into the bucket and I actually pulled one out to see and it just goes up to this washer inside the bucket. Um, the holes that need to be drilled need to fit this portion of it and I can do that with a 3 8 bit and then they just kind of slide right in and here's my 3 8 inch bit just going to uh, drill a hole there we go I'm gonna grab one of these and with this side going into the interior, just kind of screw it in there. And it's fairly tight once it's all the way in. I can't really pry it out with my fingers. So after the holes are drilled, these nipples should just fit right in. You can kind of push and kind of screw them in. And once they're screwed all the way in, Kind of hard to pull them out but what I would suggest is on the outside adding a little ring of 100% silicone to further waterproof it and kind of make them stay affixed in their position so for each one I'm going to screw it in most of the way and then take the silicone just kind of make a ring around each. And then continue to screw in. Alright, and you can see here, each one of the nipples has a ring of silicone around it, and I'll wait for that to cure before I add water to the bucket. I believe it'll take uh, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, read your packaging and make sure uh, it's cured before you add water. Alright, I waited about 24 hours for these to cure, and you can see the silicone has firmed up on each one of these nipples and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bucket with water make sure there aren't any unanticipated leaks and uh, show how these work so you will wanna hang this in the coop and make sure there's enough room for your chicks or chickens uh, to get under it and tap the uh, the nipples that's how they get the water they peck it with their beaks and as you can see there's a little drippage of water coming out here and I'm just gonna go ahead and check each one to make sure it's flowing as it should I 
It looks like all of them are. So with a food grade bucket, six nipples, and uh, I did buy a bucket lid as well, so probably eight to ten dollars. I've got a five gallon waterer here, and I believe something similar would cost about thirty bucks at a tractor supply or another store like that. Anyway, um, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Please uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.